Aloha, friends and family. <laughs> so, we found a freaking Owen Pelly python last night, and uh, I had pretty much given up on the day as far as finding anything beyond incredible, which I, I guess. What Australia Brian there is struggling to tell you, don't give him too hard time. He probably should have woken up a little bit first before trying to speak to the camera. He's trying to tell you that last night he found the rarest python species in the world. And before we show you that, we're going to show you Dave trying to catch a barramundi and in kind trying to catch a crocodile with said barramundi. Dave's feet, not mine, Mom. Fishing on the street. When was the last time you fished on the street, dog? The uh, road became impassable. If you see over there, it's about a meter and a half across the road, so there's there's just no driving across the road. But catch a bear boondi, get it on the line, reel it in, and a crocodile will come up and try and snap it. So that's what I'm hoping is going to happen. If that doesn't happen for some reason, then Dave, Dave has kind of agreed to be uh, bait. You're going to have to redo it, I think. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this off by um, well maybe I'll do it in my camera I don't know maybe I'll do it in your camera maybe I'll do it in my camera Dave doesn't know what he's doing I have no perpetually <laughs> while we we're waiting to get this stuff all set up uh, here's a couple of clips earlier today we were trying to find some Owen Pelly pythons out of Kakadu and here's a couple of clips from Instagram from that so you can see the beauty here on this channel oh yeah this is a classic fishing move I'll film this you ready <laughs> which <Wish> not. <laughs> Dave's getting irate. Watch this, you guys want to see Dave lose it? Dave, go! This is so oh, gr okay. Somebody was here cooking some supper, and uh, we are a little late. Man, this would have been the spot to fly the drone if some dummy hadn't crashed it right before the trip. My name's Dave Cuffin. I'm a big, important YouTuber. You should take my picture. So the tour bus just showed up to uh, film Dave showing exactly what not to do in croc territory, ankle deep fishing <laughs> in the stream, and, and Dave, Dave yet again, irate. When you're trying to have a good time and peace and tranquility or trying to film a, a, a snake, they just come right up to you and they're like, what you doing? Chiki chiki chiki. And I'm like, dude, dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the content, Dave. I really appreciate it. So, so far, Dave has managed to catch some weeds, a stick, and a big branch off a tree. But uh, since we haven't gotten the action there yet, whoa! I, oh, that, that is what I've been fishing for. <laughs> now I'm going to start fishing for fish. I'd like to introduce you to my little frog friend here. His name is Frank. Oh, Frank is feeling a little frumpy today, but he would like to tell you all that uh, he would like me to leave him the alone <laughs> you tell them Frank you tell them you tell them to just sh shut their holes don't be afraid to say it Frank it's okay I won't judge you just say it I know you're thinking it just say it Frank Frank I'm so glad Brian isn't sitting right here because my hooks would have went right up his patoot. Whatever Dave said to the camera while I wasn't here, pay no attention. All right, this is the only lure we have. <laughs> no pressure. Do you know how to? Yeah, you know. Come on. Do you know how to? <laughs> well, you're from California, well, not Minnesota. We fish in California too, my friend. Really? Yep. There's we water got in lakes, California? we got oceans. Ocean? <laughs> yeah, ocean. I'm gonna have to show Dave how it's done, I guess. Just like this, Dave. Watch. One, two. Jeez, I'm uh, moving into the next county over here. And a fish. Look at this. Watch, you jump this log right, over well, here. What is this backwards desk? Goodbye, lure. <laughs> no, I got it. Watch. See that? You see how I jumped over the log? You see that log jump? Yeah, and if you catch a fish on your first cast, I may have to question our friendship. <laughs> All right, I didn't catch a fish on the first cast because it was going to ruin Dave and I's friendship, which I, I don't want yet, not till the trip's over. <laughs> See, I really wish that I could go waiting out there. Wait. Oh, watch, don't move. Don't. Oh, my God. I believe this belongs to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like to wade out there, but I can't because there could be crocodiles anywhere in here and they can be in about that much water and you'd never see them coming so i can only walk out to about 
that much water. This much water crocodiles, this much water safe. With his back towards the ocean. Also, I literally just spent over $100 on a reel and uh, some equipment, some fishing lures and whatever. Well over $100. So I just spent over $100 on fishing equipment to try to catch one fish. Here we go, here we go. Shut up. Yep. Don't be a dick. No, you do. Uh, I'd say it's more like four feet long. Oh, I scared him stiff. I did. Can we? Can we? Like, what do you call it when you? What do you call it when you? Uh, make do or get you know carry on. No more pleasantries type of thing. <laughs> Dispense with the pleasantries. And can you get got by a crocodile already? Because we need some. I, I mean, if it's, I'm if I'm gonna use Dave gets eaten by a crocodile for the thumbnail, then I really need you to get eaten by a crocodile. Think about the views, Dave. Think about the views. Come on, your channel's had its time, dude. Give me some. <laughs> give me something. Come on, croc. Are you Ready? Kidding? And nobody knows about my channel. Link in the description for Dave's channel, people. If we actually have this video turn out the way it's supposed to, then uh, there's not much to watch there anymore. Ready? A classic shot of how somebody gets eaten by a crocodile. I need to wash my face by the river. Oh, this water's so nice. Oh, oh it's so refreshing. <laughs> don't, don't worry, Mom, since it's like flooded, we can see actually like 10 feet out. There's no nothing. Well, since this vlog isn't gonna have any uh, crocodiles or fish because Dave sucks at fishing and herping, I've got a little Mitchell's monitor for you here. He is full grown. And let me tell you some little fun things about my friend Mitchell here. He's very melanistic. He makes memes about mermaids eating cake and he makes me happy. He also likes to meander down the mog wait mog's not a word he likes to meander down the marsh with his little mates munching marshmallows making them <laughs> merriment <laughs> he's actually really cool he's not biting me little homie here he's uh well no he's starting to freak out a little bit i don't know why there might not be there might be somebody in the background approaching with a box it might have something to do with it uh there he goes oh no get extra views. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, go go check Dave's channel if you want to see true facts about Mitchell's monitor. He's just my friend. That's that's the only thing important you need to know about him from me. Thank you, Dave. Thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the little journey, even though we didn't get to show you Barry Mundy or the crocodiles, thanks to Dave's horrible fishing and herping. Yes, not only do I suck at fishing, but I suck at herping at the same time. Yeah, yeah I, I told them that already. Getting back in the car, riding back up to Darwin, back up to Darwin, back up to Darwin. And I got in there and uh, saw that thing crawling out on the road and just, I didn't even grab my camera. I was too excited to jump out barefoot, just ran up it. But luckily Dave uh, had enough wits about him to grab his camera. So uh, this next clip is all from his camera and uh, check it out. Oh my God, guys, look at this. Holy, holy, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he's Pretty huge. Sure. Dude, this is a massive <laughs> freaking snake, dude. Oh my god, he is just big. And it's huge. Beautiful. Look at this, and he goes all the way over is here. Is it to he? Uh, Holy. That's... This is the most amazing night. I think ever in my life finding this snake. And it's enormous. Look at that. There's Brian. Hey, you want me to lay down next to him? Yeah, yeah. Keep his attention. Easy. Come here, buddy. Yeah, he, you got you got his attention. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you ain't laying down next to me. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this beautiful snake. And to be an Owen Pelly. And to be an Owen Pelly's. Oh, oh my god, I just. My head is like spinning right now. Oh. Dude, this is amazing. Crap. 
Look at the girth on this. Look at how big that snake is. Ooh. What do you think he is? He's, he's, he's uh, 10 feet. I'll tell you what he is. He's not getting away. <laughs> oh my God. Holy crap. <laughs> Thanks for the stinky stuff. Dude, this is freaking incredible, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> this trip just keeps getting it better keeps and getting better. getting better and better. Come here, sweetheart. Whoa, there's a little <laughs> bit of aggression. That was defensiveness. That was defensive, yes. <laughs> You're right. I just can't believe how big she is. That is amazing. All right, sweetheart, come here. Come here. Come here. Look at this. Just look at how big that snake is. <laughs> oh my God. And look at that pattern. Dude, I am mind blown right now. I, I, I have nothing to say. I mean, I'm like trying to think of something to say about this snake and it, it I'm was, just in we awe. Were, I think we had already kind of given it up to the fact that we weren't going to find one today. And right. we hoping tomorrow we would find one. Right. And there she was just sitting there. Oh my God, that is just a beautiful snake. This may be the most beautiful, no, it is the most beautiful python I have ever seen. Look at how like lean and like she's thick, she's got girth, but she's super healthy and just lean. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I knew these snakes were big. I didn't realize they were this big. Yeah. Yeah. These are one of the bigger Morelias. Somalia. Hmm? Somalia. Somalia. They're not Morelias anymore? No. Oh, did they really? When did that happen? That makes sense. I mean, look yeah. at, with the leanness, like, yeah. it definitely resembles, uh, more Somalia, yeah, like he's saying, it's, this is kind of scrub python feeling. Yeah. But it's interesting because it's not like super, you can tell by the, the way that her neck, but although she did do that over triple, here, she did do that triple S with her neck that right, the right. Somalia do. Right. So it makes sense. Right, let me see if I can get a headshot here, see if you can hold her head steady. That's not holding her head steady. I know, but I don't, I, just, <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be that bad to get bit by her, but I don't really want to. Yeah, 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 that's a, that is a mouthful of very sharp teeth. See if you can just put the first third of her body down and see if she'll just, yep, that's what I want right there. That's exactly what I want. Look at that. Wow. Look at that beautiful pattern. Oh my God. Sweetheart, you are the most beautiful python I've ever seen. Hands down. Ah! Yes! That was the find of the trip for me. Uh, that between that and the thorny devil, I mean, every single mosquito bite, every single fly up my nose. Uh, every night cramped in the little space. Oh, I should show you guys where I was sleeping in the van. I'll show you in the next video that we, uh, before we leave uh, this side of the country and head over to Sydney for the, the reptile expo. Um, Uh, what a beautiful thing. I don't know where his head went, somewhere on my head. Here we go, let's just take the hat off. There we go. Follow me. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That looks, that looks pretty, uh... Now you guys, comment down below who's doing the hat better. <laughs> Dave looks I'm like he just totally woke up. totally half asleep. <laughs>